Hey everybody, welcome to the Country Hobbyist. If you've been with me before, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining me. Past four years, I've been doing YouTube. Up until this point, YouTube's been pretty much around me farming. Um, maybe some garden stuff, also some product reviews. My channel's called The Country Hobbyist, and I'd been spending a lot of my focus on the word country, not so much on hobbyist. But starting new in 2024, I'm focusing on the hobbies that I like to do, new ones and old ones. And today, I'm bringing to you a new hobby series that I'm starting here on The Country Hobbyist. That hobby is whiskey chasing. You say whiskey chasing? Maybe it's supposed to be bourbon chasing, but I'm going to chase whiskeys, all types of whiskeys, and drink all types of whiskeys. The problem, I've been a whiskey drinker. I've never been a whiskey taster. I've drank my fair share of cups of bourbon. I don't know if I've ever tasted them. So I'm learning new. See, the point of this channel isn't to me lecture you on how you should do something, how you should taste a drink, how you should brew a beer, or how you should make maple syrup. No, no. This is me showing you my failures at doing these hobbies so that you can share them along with me. So whiskey or bourbon, especially bourbon, I have lots of questions. What am I supposed to like? What am I not supposed to like? What are the rules? What's cliche? What's in season? Are we supposed to like MGP products? I don't know. I, I don't know. Are we? What is an MGP product? Are we supposed to like things that are finished on? See, I'm part of some of these bourbon groups on Facebook, and they're all kind of heckle. Oh, you don't ever open your bottles, or you're a collector. Is that wrong? Am I not an American? Am I not allowed to live the way I want to? Is this really the right hobby for me if I can't handle that? I have so many questions. If I'm a bourbon drinker, am I not allowed to like whiskey or other types of whiskeys? Or am I not allowed to like scotch or Irish whiskeys? Tennessee whiskeys. Is Jack Daniels a, a bad name in old number seven? Or is it a staple that we should base whiskey drinking off of? To be honest, I don't know. I don't know what I do like. I don't even know what I don't like. What I think I'm a fan of is a bit of hype. I'm told that allocation bottles are the best and that we should stand in line hours before a store opens on a cold Saturday morning just to pay over retail price or second market price for a bottle of Blanton's or Eagle Rare or E.H. Taylor. I know those names, but I don't know those bourbons. I couldn't smell one or taste one like Blanton's, gotcha. E.H. Taylor, I've had it. Couldn't tell you what it tastes like. So I'm going to learn in this hobby how to taste, smell, and consume bourbon and whiskey the proper way. That might be a stretch. It's not going to be the proper way. I, uh, my way. My and here on the channel in the next few weeks, I'm going to start asking and answering some of these questions. Things about rise. Think about rye whiskey. What makes an Irish whiskey? There's a Jameson that was finished on stout barrels. I that sounds amazing to me. Is that a is that is that a cliche? I don't know. So what I do know is that I have been cheating a little bit because I do own and I've been buying some bottles. I don't have really the guts to uh, do the brusal thing yet and get my camera in the liquor store and and uh i don't know if the audience even cares for that are we interested in bourbon hunting comment below if you do or give me a thumbs up or something because if you guys like to see me bourbon hunt i uh i enjoy it i just need a little bit of a, of encouragement maybe some maybe some liquid encouragement See, I don't think <coughs> <clears throat> too much, too fast. That wasn't a sip. See, I'm supposed to be sipping, not, you know, drinking. And chewing and <clears throat> I did something wrong there. Speaking of empty glass, we should fill this up. But why, why I get this, I just want to say, can you hit that subscribe button and uh, definitely the thumbs up? If you just take like a second to click both of those 
This stuff isn't cheap. Chasing after these bourbons, what I've already done so far. Not super pocket friendly. Uh, but clicking that subscribe button costs you nothing, but it helps me uh, be able to afford these types of uh, videos. I'd really appreciate that. Really, I'm just asking you to help me buy bourbon. Please.